716. That's pretty good. I'm going to try to get the air out of this. I'm going to get the bag. Okay. This is what morning looks like in the camp. Everybody's starting to get ready. Ron's over there. There's my Tyvek blowing in the wind. But it was a good night last night. It's slept pretty warm. You can see the sun coming up over here. And we're breaking down camp. I'm going to head to the privy and pick up our food bags. And then we are going to eat some breakfast and head out. I think this might be one of the early times that we're getting started on this trip so far on day seven. You try to keep them away from the shelter for obvious reasons like the smell and I'm sure there's other reasons too like mice and stuff like that. Well Jason took our bear bag down which is super nice but I wanted to show you how these work. There are cables that hook the food up and then I'll take it over here so some of these over there. They bring them down here and they just hoist them up in the bare cable. Goes on with it until we're ready to run it down the next day. I'm going to share with you a little bit of our morning breakfast routine.
are you? Alright, this is day seven, right? Yes. And we are getting out about 8.45 and we are not the last people here. That's a record. So we are starting to get things figured out. It is a little chilly this morning, but the sun is already out and don't have any fog out here right now. So it looks like we're going to have a good start to the day. Look at this beautiful view. We've had a pretty easy climb this, so far this morning. Of course, we don't want to jinx ourselves, but day seven has started off beautifully. Uh, it takes us about, well, today it took us about an hour and 45 minutes once we got up and started moving to get out of camp. But we have 7.4 to get to Blue Mountain Shelter. And that's where our destination is for today. So no reason to rush. Just gonna take it all in. We both started with our mellies and it's only been about 20 minutes. We're about ready to shred. Taking it off. I think we got more to find, so I think yeah. we're gonna get too cold. Then I'm gonna stretch a little bit. All right, let's do it. Just came across this. Thought it was pretty. Love the sound. And now we're gonna continue moving north, chasing those white blazes still. I think that. We might push forward a little bit and go to Trey Mountain. It is a possibility. Look at this. And this is our view on the other side. Ooh la la. What's that? I said, ooh la la. We are on another break. Ronnie's got to readjust his braces. And he's got a feeling some discomfort. So he's gonna readjust those and then we're good to water and carry on our way. We're going through another one of those little tunnel areas. I just thought that's pretty cool. We should get to Blue Mountain by 12.30 today. And we're gonna stop there for lunch and then press on. Whether we get to Trey or not is still yet to be determined. We are kind of thinking that we're going to hit a south spot maybe, or the cheese factory campsite, something like that. So, but it's been another beautiful day. Hiking has been pretty Calm up to this point. I think once we get past Blue Mountain, we have a lot more ups and downs. We've only had a couple little ups to this point, but it's been a good morning. So we, got, we had some pretty cold breezes when we get on one side of the mountain. And then we get a break when we get to the other side of the mountain. But yeah, we've been enjoying today. And we will hit 
our 50 mile mark, just shy of Blue Mountain. This is just the debris section. It's taking a little bit of a risk, but not much. As long as I know where my feet are going. Keep on climbing. Just hit a pretty rocky section from the gap to here. We're about 1.1 miles from Blue Mountain Shelter, and we had our first bear sighting. So there are actually two bears. There was a baby cub that was climbing up the tree and there was the mala bear in the bottom. And so we have a little bit of video footage that's gonna follow this, but it was pretty awesome. We actually walked past it and this mother-daughter duo is doing a section hike. Mother's and son. mother, I'm sorry, <laughs> mother-son uh, are doing sections and they're on their second section hike. And he was sitting up there waiting for her and he called us back. And so we walked back a little bit and got to See these two bears so that was our first bear sighting of our hike which is super exciting i didn't know if i was going to see one at all so and ronnie's got this awesome camera that's got a zoom on his phone that got us to get a little bit closer well probably a lot closer than what my phone would do so that was super exciting so snack time We have just hit our 50 mile mark on the Appalachian Trail, which doesn't seem like far when you have 2,197.4 miles to go. Huh? I said 2,197.4. To go. To go, no, that's how many we have to do total, and we've done 50 of that. So, but it's 50 down, so keep on pressing towards the next white blues. You 20, wanna say anything? 2147 to go, for <laughs> some of us. Not him. All right, we're pressing on. We're almost to Blue Mountain. We just summited. Blue Mountain, and now we are going down, my hair's all over the place, uh, to Unicoi Gap. And I think that's where we're gonna eat lunch. We bypassed the shelter, and now we're on a decline. And, Ron, what time is it? 1.53? It's 1.53, and we still need to eat lunch. So I think we're gonna do that down in the gap and then figure out what our next plan of action is gonna be. So hold on for that. We are making this climb after lunch. It's been pretty good, but we just came across this sideways blaze. I don't think it means anything, but if it does, and you know what it is, let us know. trying to decide whether where to camel up underwater. We have, we are climbing Rocky Mountain right now and it is a thousand feet of ascent in 1.4 miles. So we are about a third of the way up and we are gonna continue to climb. Stopping about halfway up the mountain to get some water and then we will continue up. Well, we made it to the summit of Rocky Mountain, our second summit of the day. And you can see the views to the side of us. Uh, it was one heck of a climb a mile up. 
with a thousand feet of elevation, 1.4 miles up with a thousand feet of eleva elevation. So I'm going to turn this around and let you see. We just ran into a couple of the people that we keep on crisscrossing with and they've got their tent set up over here. We are heading down and hopefully we'll find a stealth site on this side of the mountain. But here's our view from Rocky Mountain Summit. All the way around us, 360 view. And then we have this. <laughs> you. We are coming down to Indian Grade Gap. And today has been the longest day on trail for us. Not necessarily on purpose. We are hoping to find a stealth site on the way down from Rocky Mountain but there weren't any. There were some at the top, but we thought it might be too windy. And so now we're down at the parking lot and we're hoping maybe as we start ascending the next mountain that we can find a campsite. So I don't know that we either one of us want to camp at the gap, but we might. I will fill you in as we move forward. Well, it's right around 8 o'clock and I'm going to edit a video and go to bed. It is going to be in the 30s tonight, so we are already bundled up. We did a 13.4 day. We ended at Cheese Factory Campsite, I think. And longest day on the trail so far. Not that we wanted to get that those many miles in, but we just kept on getting tripped up on where we could stop. So... I learned a new um, way to time my bear hang and met a guy that has done the PCT, the, a, the CDC, and now he's doing the AT. And uh, we met him earlier and then he's camping across from us. So he uh, showed me a, a different kind of knot to do. And we hung our bear bags together, so. Yeah. Good night. Peace out, and I hope you all had a blessed day. Bye.